Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today I'm going to show you how to fit and configure a sorter and an ejector to your mining ship. This setup is useful once you've found actual ores like iron and cobalt etc. As you find you accidentally gather stone while you're mining these ores and the stone takes up valuable inventory space and really does weigh down your miner. Of course stone is still useful but not so much when you're after a specific ore. So let's take a look at the tutorial miner and see where we're going to put the system and why. So let's get our toolbar set up and have a look at where we're going to place these components. So in the G menu, I'm going to need the sorter. I want the small conveyor sorter. We'll need an ejector as well. And there is only a small ejector. Now, like with a car, you have the exhaust at the back of the car, so the fumes go away from the vehicle while you're driving. Um, a similar sort of thing happens here. What we don't want is things that we eject to land on our own ship and potentially damage thrusters or obscure our view or just generally get in the way. So the best place really for an ejector is somewhere pointing out of the back and ideally fairly low down. Now, conveniently, we have a little port on the side of this uh, hydrogen tank. So I'm going to connect up the system so it pushes the stone straight out of the back here. So we'll start with the sorter. I've got that as number six. And you can see the arrow is pointing one way. That means that that is the direction of travel of any of the materials that you're sending through it. So obviously we need to flip that round so it comes out of the back. Now I've got creative tools on here just to save a bit of time. Next, we're going to need the ejector. So there's the port we're connecting to, and there's where it'll actually eject from. So let's put that on there like that. Now, as they stand at the minute, they don't know what to do. We need to tell it uh, in the control panel exactly what is allowed to pass through. And we do that from the control seat. Let's go into K and have a look for the sorter. So in the sorter, there's nothing we need to change here. Further down, we have the filter mode. Now you have a blacklist and a whitelist. Now the blacklist specifies what you don't want to pass through and the whitelist is what you do want to pass through. So if I don't set anything, nothing will pass through. I need to go to whitelist to tell it that I do want it to pass through stone. So from the list at the bottom, go all the way down to stone. And then, oh, just scroll down a bit, there it is. And then add the stone to the whitelist. So now the sorter will only allow stone to pass through it. Now the next stage is to set the ejector to collect everything it can. In other words, to take in whatever's heading towards it and then to throw it out. So we want to collect everything and throw it straight out. So let's test out mining. We'll fire up our ship. Let's get a better view. And we'll head for the iron mine that I have over here. Let's get our lights on. Right click to make sure we clear a nice path in here. Okay, before I start mining, let's have a quick look at those settings there. So the sorter is turned on, the ejector should also be on. But what I'm going to do is turn it off just to show you how much stone we gather while we're mining this iron. So I'm now on the left click, mining round the edge. I'm probably skimming that stone a bit. So for this demonstration, the ejector is turned off. We've mined some iron and picked up a little bit of stone and just have a look and see how much there is. Yep, so there's 20,000 iron and 11,000 stone, which we're not interested in. So I'm going to hit G and create a shortcut to the ejector on my toolbar. And that's going to be to toggle the block on and off. Now you can see from the screen here, the sorter is in green, so it's turned on. The ejector is in red, so it's off. So now if I turn on the ejector, it should just start ejecting stone. We are number six, and off it goes. 
while it's doing that, let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the inventory, and we can see there we go. It's actually got rid of all of that stone. Now these sorters can do a lot of things. The large grid version can be quite complicated. You can fit it to your conveyor system on your base and allow it to pass certain materials one way and other things in another direction if you have more than one sorter. But for me, a nice easy application and a very useful one is just to slap one on your mining ship with an ejector. And there we go. I hope you found that useful. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, let me know. See you later.